What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we have an exciting yet a little scary of a video. I'm about to be a guinea pig for you guys and I am going to try and dye my brows at home. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, especially my makeup tutorials, you know that my brows without any product on them are literally translucent. It looks like I have no brows at all. And honestly, like having light body hair, like for your legs and your arms and stuff is dope, but on your brows, it's kind of annoying because when I don't do my makeup, it literally just looks like I have nothing. Like I shaved my brows off, even though they're there, they're just clear hair. We're also gonna be using like men's beard dye <laughs> to do this. It could be a disaster, but I figured I would try it out for you guys so then you will know whether or not it works before you go ahead and do it on yourself and could potentially ruin your face. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave today. It'll be the first link right down below in the description box. I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup off so we can get to dyeing these brows. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I went ahead and took all of my makeup off so you guys can see that my eyebrows are non-existent. I also put on a shirt that I don't really care about just because I don't want to ruin any shirts with hair dye and I got my hair back out of my face so we're not accidentally dyeing our hair. I think I'm ready. So this is the kit that I'm using. I've seen a ton of different videos of people using different products to tint their brows at home. I watched a bunch before I decided to do this, but this was the one that was easily accessible to me. A lot of the other kits I like couldn't find around, and this is actually for men and their beards. But we're gonna use it to tint our eyebrows. This is the brand Just For Men. It's their mustache and beard dye in the shade light brown. That's what I got. They did have a blonde shade, but I thought that it was gonna be a little too dark and the tone was a little too warm. Um, and this one was a little more ashier, so I decided to go with the light brown. I hope it's not too dark. I'm nervous. The kit was super cheap. It was like $7, I think. I found mine at my local Walmart. And inside you get the developer and the color. You also get this little tray that you can use to mix them together. They provide you with this brush, although I'm gonna be using my own. I'll show you guys that, but I will use this to mix the products together. One thing that you do need that doesn't come in the kit is Vaseline. And you're basically gonna use that as a barrier between your skin and your eyebrows. So like you're gonna put it beneath your eyebrow because you don't want the color to bleed down onto your skin because it will dye your skin. I actually don't have Vaseline, hashtag prepare. I know, um, but I'm gonna use this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. The main ingredient in this is petroleum jelly, so that's basically, you know, all that it is anyway. So I'm gonna use this and we're gonna hope it works. So I'm just gonna use this little angled brush and get some of this product on my brush and then I'm going to kind of like sculpt out my brows like I would do with concealer on a daily basis, but I'm gonna use this. You know, I should probably zoom you guys in. All right, so now that you guys can actually see, just gonna put this beneath my brow just to protect that area from the dye, although make sure you don't get it on your brow hairs or then it won't take like the dye. I'm gonna put it on the top as well. All right, so now that we have the brows all prepped, I'm going to mix together equal parts of the color with the developer. And this little tray that they do give you has this line so you can basically like make sure that it's equal amounts, which is nice. All right, so I've got equal parts of both. I'm gonna use the little spatula thing that they have in the kit to mix these together. So I'm just mixing them so that it's all very well mixed. It emphasized that like many times to make sure you really mix it. So I'm really gonna mix it. <laughs> all right, so now that I've got it all mixed, we're gonna go in and apply. To apply it, I'm gonna use this tiny little angle brush. This is from Tarte. Any little angled brush will do. So I'm gonna start like right about here. I don't wanna start all the way in the front because I don't want that to be like too dark. So I'm gonna start about halfway on my brow and just kind of apply it. Ooh, starting to get nervous. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm just, you know, basically pretending like I'm filling in my brows like I would do on a normal day. And I'm really doing like very light strokes. I'm not like applying too much product because that wouldn't be cute. All right, I'm gonna go in on the other brow now. All right, so we can already tell that my one brow is getting pretty deep because this is the one that I did first. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my alarm for five minutes. We're gonna let it sit on the face and then we will wipe it off and hope that it looks good. All right, you guys, so it has been five minutes. It is the moment of truth. It looks pretty damn dark. I really hope it's not this dark once I wipe it off. I have a dampened little washcloth here with some shampoo on it, so we're just gonna go ahead and scrub this. I'm gonna start with this eye because this is the one that I did first. And, oh, thank God, it's not as dark <laughs> underneath because your girl was starting to get a little nervous. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Wow, okay. It actually looks pretty good, I think. Like it's not too dark, but you still can definitely see my brows so much more than you could before. I could have probably put a little bit more up in front, but I got scared, so I didn't. But let's go and do this one too. 
Okay, so I think light brown definitely was the color for me though, because I think if I would have done blonde, it would have been too light. All right, so I think I'm gonna go back in and actually add a little bit more, just because especially on this brow, the front is like really, really light. Like it looks like basically nothing was really put on it. So I'm gonna go in and just do a little more, because the first time I was like a little scared, you know, I didn't want to go in with too much. So I'm gonna go back in and carefully add a little bit more to my brows. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for another five and I'll be back. Alrighty, the next five minutes is up. So we are going to go take it off again. Yeah, this time it took a lot better to the front of my brow. Ooh, these look really good actually. I'm pretty impressed. All right, so this is the completed look. I'm actually really impressed. Like this worked really well. It was really easy. I've never done this before. I've never even dyed my hair before with like box dye. So I am like completely a beginner. And yeah, I mean, it really was pretty much foolproof. Like if I could do it, you guys could definitely do it. It was very easy. I just follow the directions that the box gave and I really like the results. I would say that if this lasts like at least a week, I'll say that it's worth it. I hope that it's gonna last at least that long. If it's a little bit shorter than that, it's not like I'm gonna be doing this every day, but I could easily probably do this once a week I think from start to finish it only took me about 15 minutes like from the moment that I sat down and I'm filming it So yeah, it really was an easy process and I do really like it I still will definitely fill in my brows when I do my makeup just because my brows are very thin So I always make them a bit bigger. Um, I just don't have as much brow hair I was as I would like but on the days that I don't wear any makeup I think this will really give a nice shape to my eyes and to my face because before obviously as you guys saw when I didn't wear any makeup which is honestly a lot of days it just looks like I don't have any eyebrows at all so this is really nice um, and yeah they have a ton of shades they have a lot of shades that are a lot darker as well I think there was like at least six or seven shades so there should be a shade for everybody and the price is right I definitely would have spent a lot more money had I went to like a salon to have my eyebrows tinted and they probably would have done like basically the same thing so I'm pretty impressed. Let me know down below what you guys think. Do you think you're going to try this out? Do you think it looks good? Do you think it looks bad? Let me know. I won't be offended either way, um, but I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it looks pretty good. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!